Right, hey guys, Trevor Cushley here today with, we're back with Umbrella Academy episode 7. Oh, there's only three more after this, guys. I'm slowly getting there, I'm slowly getting there. Sorry for the delay of the episode. I just got, I had a lot to do over the weekend. I sort of wanted a break from recording. Um, but I'm back and ready to go with it. Um, yeah, so a lot happened. Basically, the time travel organisation just got wrecked by five. We sort of got the two assassins people now turning on each other because five sent two messages to kill each other. Hazel and... Uh, Vanya's powers coming to be fourth and they realise who they need to kill. Who they're going to have to kill, which after some thought, I think it's going to be Vanya's boyfriend because that makes sense that Vanya's going to destroy the world. Like, I really think Vanya's going to destroy that. Obviously, she's going to go batshit crazy. She's definitely going to be a character responsible for it. I think she's going to be one who's going to be responsible for destroying everything because her power seems like quite destructive how she can just bend like things so i'm guessing when she's angry or pissed you could actually destroy quite a lot of things i'm curious what his overall plan is going to be but yeah no um it's a bit more a bit more interesting now in vanya she's actually doing something and she has a character arcs going somewhere and i like the fact she's like had powers but he's hid that because it was so dangerous in his book so he didn't want her to use the powers and then luther learned about like how basically he was just stuck on the moon for no reason because dad didn't know what to do with him which is pretty brutal but other than that guys i'm looking forward to see where this is going to go um we did like sort of go back so I was really curious what um, the mum was going to say and what's fucking, what's Pogo up to? Pogo knows a lot more than he's letting on and I'm curious how that's going to end for him as I wonder why he's hiding everything um, but he is very loyal to the dad so yeah. Um, look forward to see where the story's going to unfold. Looks like it's starting to kick into the final bit now and I'm really excited to see where it goes. So guys please like the video if you enjoy. I'm doing this and all about Unplugged Academy and Stranger Things and if you like anime you're on the perfect channel. Subscribe because I love it too. And let's get into this. Oh, mum died in labour. Is this the person we need to kill? <laughs> well, great father, fucking hell. I'm going to have to mute this bit for the music, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, this isn't going down well. Ah, the abusive time father. Why would the crowd laugh at a kid wanting to be a hero? <laughs> Fuck off like the audience would be out like that. <laughs> you could have done a nice little speech and let him go. But that really is a dick. <laughs> like he's just basically doing to sell toys. And the guy clearly is just the villain in the making wants to destroy the heroes. He reminds me of, um, you know, Incredibles, the villain off that, who wanted to just be a hero but he didn't have powers. We made inventions. I guess he would see the child as killing his mum if he's one of those dads. Like, because his wife died and then he was like in child labour, so he just blames the kid. And he's just a dick. Oh, mate, he's about to murder his own dad. Wait, how is he going to stage this one by getting arrested? Oh no, we'll go for. Fucking hell. Ah, they're linking it back to when he threw all that away. Oh, that's how he got hold of the diary. Yeah, so it's Thingy then. It's Vonya's boyfriend. What a shock. Clearly the guy has an automotive. At least he's playing quite a big role then. Yeah, the book that Thingy just read. Mate, when... Uh, fucking Vonya's, mate. Getting, when Vonya's getting used, get wrecked. <laughs> This is a good point. <laughs> Klaus on the real side. I do like Klaus. He's probably my favourite now. I say Klaus, the year you go. Then five. Then you have two. I should pick up for Vonya over Luther and I forget her name. Alison. Alice. <laughs> Mate, we tried five times. <laughs> yes, you did. You both did. Do you know if they make up again and then fall out again? Oh my god. Is Leonard Peabody. Would have found that out quick. No. Why would you? Oh, we did find out. Why not? I told you already, alright? I, I, I can't. Oh, Fucking hell, Luther. Calm down, you little prick. Get off Klaus. Me. I'm triggered. Get off Klaus, mate. M mad. Fucking prick. When Luther goes down, my rank is even more. He was already the worst member. Now he's even worse. When Klaus, when Klaus has been the comforting one, one guy. Hey, 
<laughs> Mate, class, number one guy. The guy had to deal with go through drugs just to shut out the dead. Why would you want that? Man's had it hard. Mate, Luther, fucking unconsiderate. Uh, Luther's such a Marty fun. For fuck's sake, what was the need of that, you prick? Mate, I really hate Luther now. Mate. <laughs> Why did you, I don't think he's gonna kick down the door, not jump through the window. <laughs> Oh yeah, he got shot, didn't he? He's just been walking around with a shot wound. Why didn't you say anything? I like how the story's got a lot more interesting now. We've got rid of the time travel stuff. We're just fucking focusing on characters. We can just get a shitty motel or something. Yeah, it's perfect for what we need to do. There's Vanya. You've spent your entire life feeling less than your brothers and sister, only to discover you've had manipulative guy, isn't he? The entire time. You owe it to yourself to discover what that really means. Okay? Mate, everyone's just trying to pass speech checks. Clear your mind. Focus. We're better to do that than here. Now nah, they're going to struggle to find him. It's in the middle of nowhere as well. At least he has actual motivation to stay clean. I'm trying to help Luffy, even though Luffy's couldn't. Oh, this, is, this is pointless. You are him! You're right. You didn't. But if you. Clouds go through the big go, character arc, loving it. There is nothing in this world Luther wouldn't do to save your scrawny little junky ass. Hi. Huge fan of the furries. What man's going to cause a fight? Yeah. Have you ever tried one of these? Yeah. I've never found so alive! I'm so thirsty! Whoa! Class actually threw it away! Whoa! Big character move there. Why'd you do that? I have no idea! <laughs> you need to realise you did it. Oh, Luther, you're alright. Come on, Luther. I love how much class has changed over the season. He's had definitely the best progression. Yep, the boots on ground, flashback, PTSD coming back through again. Mm, no days. Fucking hell, love. Where's the trust in him? I mean, you do carry Mate, we're all going to be triggered as well because it's a cop that died. I watched everything my brothers and sister could do ruin their lives. They're full of holier than thou bullshit. Like you said, that's what's ruined their lives. And that's not going to happen to you. Damn. Fucking hell, mate. It's aggressive. You're a wizard, Vanya. He's gonna get serious in a sec. I look and I feel ridiculous. I have no idea how they did this stuff with a straight face. It's because you're not used to it, that's all. What's with the aggression? Brian, Fuck no, mate. Maybe you would... oh, deception. <laughs> 100. Stealth 100. Mate, Hazel using all his survival skills. I guess to see if she would do it. Oh, <coughs> she got to see if she would do it as well. Oh, that's just awkward. We've got to see Hazel's point of view of it. Okay. Hazel, the legend, figuring things out. You can't stay here. Why not? To 
Be blunt, Fucking savage. <laughs> Wait a minute, aren't you supposed to love all of us? Where'd you get that idea? I need you so I can pick and choose. And you don't run me the right way. Wait. So you you make us you need me for me? Well, I need everything else if I need to need you. Why? There we go. Why has the father been a barber in the other life? What in God's name took you so long? No, if we wanted to see. Dad, everything I put you through. This is like. ASMR shaving while giving us some story. <laughs> Loki satisfying. We were just kids. We were kids. You were never just. And that's where your problem is. You didn't see him like that. Yeah, but the world being destroyed is technically your fault because Jenkins wouldn't have ever been obsessed if Inverno Carry didn't exist. Of course, it cuts out just then. This is where they get attacked. Good evening. <laughs> and we're, we're heading out, so if you don't mind. I'm actually pretty comfortable. You comfortable? Well, how would you be dicks about this? Why is funny? Uh, I'm sure you can find it. Oh, about to use the powers. Who was murder, you think? Oh shit! Wrecked. <laughs> Mate, get, get tied up. <laughs> I don't want to go back, Kate. I don't want to go back. <laughs> that was savage. What? Shoot me. Because if you leave this room and I'm still alive, I'm coming after you. Oh shit. Talk about triggering, huh? When I find you, there'll be no speech. Would he do it? You don't do it. She needs to die, but I'm like, oh. Do it! Oh, Hazel. Fucking man. Hazel, the big man. You and your ugly whore, you're dead! You're dead, Hazel! I'm the sort of role he's going to play in the series now. She's about to end that whole relationship. I'm enjoying this last arc. I'm enjoying it a lot more than the um, time travel stuff. Um, yeah, Hazel and Chow Chow saw that their beef now. Um, I wonder where that story is going to go from now on for the last two episodes. And this is a season two. I wonder if they would continue that. We have five wounded and out for the count. We still not learn what mum knows yet. We pretty much caught back up to what we did last episode, so I'm glad they just covered it all. Um, Diego's in prison for the murder. I wonder how he's going to get out of that. Probably just going to escape. And Klaus having a massive amount of development this episode. I love Klaus this episode. I like him. He's my, definitely my favourite character. He just gets so much. Yeah, there's a lot of good development over the series. Uh, Luther's not growing on me yet. Still hate the guy. He's a prick. And Alison, that's just about to end Ron Years. Gonna be a little spanner in Ron Years and thingy. I like how they made him a villain. Um, pretty interesting way of doing it. Uh, I won't, I'm not surprised that he is, to be fair. Because um, of the cre how creepy he was. And then Von Young unlocking her powers. And it's just going to be see how the series is trying to try and wrap up this season. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. So guys, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe. As I'm trying to do this once a week. And I hope to see you next week.